We continue to move forward with an unshakable hope because we know that the Holy Spirit is guiding us. What was launched at the Synod continues to unfold. For an update on where the Holy Spirit is leading us, please welcome the Director of Synod Implementation, Mr. Randy Noel. Thank you very much. I just want to go through a few of the practical uh, things of where are we and where are we going. The Archbishop has talked about the Synodal Declaration and that following the Synod he issued this declaration and uh, has talked about what's come out of it already. The uh, mission statement, appointing ASEC, um, the, the different initiatives that have started. And I just want to reiterate that if you haven't um, received a copy, I know some people here weren't at the Synod last year. If you don't have a copy or if you want an extra copy, there'll be more copies on the registration tables as, as you leave today, so please feel free to pick that up. As we looked at the declaration, and one of the main things in there was the Archbishop affirmed everything that was voted on at the Synod. It kind of feels like we should vote on something. I don't know, I kind of miss the voting devices. But, but anyway, in the declaration is a list of the top priorities that were voted on at the Synod. As we looked at those, we said, okay, what's the next step? Where do we start? And we looked at all of the priorities, the initiatives that are already underway, and then some new things that, that uh, came out of the Synod. And as we looked at them, all of them align themselves in five different areas. And that's what this slide is. It's also on page 15 in your booklet that you can go back to later and look at. But um, in each of these areas, the different initiatives and priorities are part of one of those five areas. So what we've done now is we have established uh, pastoral priority teams in each of those areas. And the pastoral priority team is going to look at the priorities that came out of the Synod. If we really implemented those priorities, what would the vision look like? What would we really look like as a church in the archdiocese in five years, in 10 years, uh, in 15 years? And then what will it take us to get to that point? So the teams in each of these areas are going to be looking at that, developing the vision, and coming up with strategies to help us uh, get there. In the area of evangelization and the Sunday Mass, Father Philip Bagaki is going to head up that team. He's the pastor at Christ King Parish, soon to be pastor at St. Bernard Parish in Wauwatosa. He's also a member of ASEC. In the multi-generational Catholic identity formation, so faith formation for all ages, Kathy Amity, who's the pastoral associate for lifelong faith formation at St. Anthony's Parish in Pewaukee, is going to lead us and lead the team. Then in uh, stewardship, outreach, and evangelization, Ben Bresky, who's a pastoral associate also at St. Anthony's on the lake in Pewaukee, and he's the pastoral associate for human concerns and stewardship. He's going to work with the small group in developing the vision and initiatives in that area. And then in social justice, the team's going to be led by Vincent North, who is the director of the River West Food Pantry in Milwaukee. We're very excited that we have these four incredibly talented and energetic people who are going to head this up. In the center of all of this is mission and leadership. And currently, Archbishop Listecki and his advisory cabinet are heading up that initiative. They're looking and studying the priorities that came out of the Synod, what's presently being done in the area of leadership throughout the Archdiocese, and especially coming from the Archdiocese, and what training and leadership is still needed and then we'll be developing the vision and initiatives based off of that. So while the Archbishop's Cabinet is looking at mission and leadership, we've asked all the parishes to begin focusing on evangelization and the Sunday Mass. That area not only received the most number of votes at the Synod, but it's critical to who we are as Catholics. It's at the center of everything we are as Catholics. So, the Archbishop has talked about we have all of these areas and we continue to work on the areas, but we shine a light on an area for a time. And that's what we're doing in this next year. We're shining the light on evangelization and the Sunday Mass. Well, as we've already talked about, that's not the only thing we're working on. 
We have the Urban Initiative with Father Tim Kitsky heading that up. That's going on too. As that's being developed, as the pastoral priority teams are developing things in each of those areas, we as parishes and schools and the archdiocese are really going to laser focus in on evangelization and the Sunday Mass. We've already um, asked parishes to, to start looking at that area and to develop plans in that area. As Father Tim is working with the Urban Initiative, as the pastoral priority teams are focusing on the longer range vision, the longer range vision is going to contain strategies for parishes, but also for schools, for other Catholic organizations, such as the seminary, hospitals, nursing homes, um, that, that we're, we're going to make sure that we have all different uh, areas covered when, when we come up with initiatives that we want to do. Well, what the pastoral priority team in the area of evangelization in the Sunday Mass is doing will work hand in hand with what parishes are developing. They'll work side by side in reaching out to the person in the pew. Because ultimately everything we need to do needs to reach the person in the pew or reach the people we'd like to invite to be in the pew. So that we, we want to make sure that that's our focus. The final thing I want to just uh, take a minute on is uh, we've developed two new videos and the, the new videos are to help you connect to the mission that comes out of the Synod but also to help us connect to this focus on evangelization and the Sunday Mass. We really encourage you to use these videos and to, to use them in different ways. Um, to, to show them before or after Mass uh, on Sunday, to provide a link for them on the parish or school website, incorporate them into Catholic school and into the religious ed programs, invite parents of young adults to send the link of the videos to their children and especially the video that we're about to see because I think it speaks to the heart of many people and especially those who are seeking uh, their faith. So be creative in the ways you use these videos. Um, we'll continue to keep you informed as far as what's being planned and what's being done. Um, we'll continue to share with you ideas that are coming forth in the area of evangelization and the Sunday Mass and, and what's being developed not only by the pastoral priority team but by parishes throughout the archdiocese. So I really want to extend my deep appreciation to all of you my thanks for all of your prayers, your support, and the work you have been about and will be about, especially as it relates to synod implementation. So thank you very much.